This program contains views and opinions that may not be suitable for all audiences. Audience discretion is advised. Welcome to Constructive Deconstruction, everybody. I am your host, Gomer the Ranting Thespian. My co-hosts, as always, are Holly Christine and Gonzo Link. Hello. Hey there. And I am still surprised I have not mixed up your names yet. <laughs> uh, I, I just have one of those minds. It's like every time I, I introduce more than one person on a show, I'm like, I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to mix this up. Nope. So, yeah. so it's a good thing. I don't know. It can it can happen. I mean, when you get so used to saying a certain things in a certain way, or at least you know, like when when I when I read stuff on the air for my radio job, like when I read the weather, mm -hmm. sometimes I'll just completely switch words around without realizing it, <laughs> and <laughs> have to just just quick correct myself. Yeah, and pretend like that didn't happen. There you go. I was like uh, the most recent thespian talk we had uh, Jess Kittrick on with uh, Cat and me, and. I act when when I normally do my outro. It's usually co-host first, and then the uh, guest, or I think it was guest and then co-host. Either way, either way, <laughs> with, with, whenever I you know, like, not like when it's like shout out, not not shout out, but uh, you know, pimp yourself out or whatever, which I ended up rambling more on because of that. It's just, but but anyway, usually when I actually get to the very end, like this is so and so signing signing off or whatever, I usually go co-host and then guest. I went guest and then co-host this time. And it's like that that. Okay, weird. <laughs> yeah. uh, but speaking of weird stuff, this... this oh, wow. We I actually had seen this thanks to a friend of mine on Tumblr. In fact, I even reblogged it. And then I'm like, you know what? We could I could actually put this in the file, and so I did. Oh, um, my God. Yeah. I, I could not believe this when I opened it up. I mean, I knew that Tumblr was weird, but... <laughs> shit. Tumblr is great for many things. It's great for meeting people. It's it's great for checking out all sorts of creative things different fandoms can do. It's great for showcasing your videos or your artwork. And if you're into that, it's great for finding free porn. Oh, yeah. But then you have the weird side. And not just the weird side, but the weird social justice side. Which social justice in and of itself is not necessarily a bad thing. If if taken if taken right taken as prescribed, it can be fine. It's necessary because otherwise, who else is gonna fight your battles if somebody else if you don't do it or or whatever, right? Well, I, yeah, I, I worded that weirdly, but <laughs> I, I agree. I, I believe social social justice is, can be a very very good thing. I mean, because if people aren't concerned about certain issues, even if even if they're not technically doing anything other than reblogging something. Even if they're at least aware of what's going on, then, you know, that, that can't be a bad thing. But, again, when something's taken too far in the, uh, in the wrong direction, it becomes a problem, and it starts distracting from the real issues. Oh, yeah. And this is definitely a case of one of those. Oh, boy. Yeah. And, and I do want to have a couple of disclaimers, which I even – I guess I kind of put on the uh, Tumblr post when I reblogged it because, uh, number one – I, I still don't know how many of the following things we're going to be reading off are really people just taking the piss. Uh, so I have no idea. I don't think any of us really do. There, there's one we're we're thinking might not be taking the piss and are actually serious, but we'll we'll talk about that when we get to it. And then I also put a second question. Um, I said, assuming one or all are not taking the piss, let me just say, what the fuck? If if you have issues like this, go see a damn doctor. They're here to help. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, so. it, it, it's, 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 I, I started thinking this more and more myself as I was reading through these. I was like, okay, it, it, there have to be a couple of these that are trolls or pose. I mean, yeah. they, these can't all be genuine. Yeah. But, um, as we'll find out, at least one of them is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, some of them, I, just looking at the age... Um, specifically the first one and the last one, mm -hmm. I'm like, it, I don't think that these are trolling so much as it's just a kid who wants to be a special snowflake. Yeah. Yeah. So, so speaking of this first one, let's, let's talk about this first one here. 13, other kin. Uh, these, these are all like Tumblr blog descriptions, by the way. Yes. Uh, 13, other kin, sex addict with a winky face. You're 13. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Ugh. I, I, I lost my virginity at 14, and even then, I was not really much of a sex addict. Yeah, I liked it. I, I 
you know, when I had it, I liked it. I liked watching porn, but I wasn't out trying to bang everything with a vagina or every person with a vagina. So, so yeah. yeah. But then again, you know, this person, they may be. Who knows? Nudodivergent? What? Duh. I, I, I would have to... Uh, it it essentially to means that. Um, that they are not neurotypical. Okay. All right. Asexual? Wait. Yes, Wait, an oh, asexual what? sex addict, guys. Asexual oh, my God. I just got that. That's horrifying. That's like, <laughs> what? How did that happen? I don't know. Unless unless the sex is not so much for the feel. I, I don't know even know. How does that work? An a, yeah, an asexual nymphomaniac? Like Really? At 13? That's holy holy shit. Yeah. Just, what? <laughs> ah, gender is. And 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 we all know gender is is more and more not binary. There are there are plenty of genders, but I think this 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 is just taking it from from here 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 some of my friends are and here i am sitting here on on like a wall here and then over on the other side of the wall is the ocean these this person here in particular has taken it beyond the ocean and is on the other on um, whatever is on the other side probably europe or something <laughs> <laughs> depending on whether you want to go north or south <laughs> yeah uh, so here we go Non-binary, gender fluid, fluctuating between gender void, boy without the privileges, gloom gendered, and genderless. I have no idea what gloom gendered is. What no. is gender void? Like you lack a gender? Right. I, I guess that you just become. I, I guess the opposite of androgynous, and it's just like, or I guess androgynous. I guess. I guess. I, I don't know. I mean, okay. But like I said, we need. I'll, I think we need to have Google on hand for some of these because we might actually. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. actually Googled neuro, uh, neurodivergent to figure out that it was not neurotypical. Yeah, we got we got we got Holly on the Googles here, so we'll be fine. It's okay. <laughs> Alrighty. All right. Self-diagnosed PTSD, cancer, autism, and bipolar. Okay. If if you really have cancer, then I do feel sorry for you. I, you know, because cancer is horrible. If you are autistic. Then, then you know, again, you know, you have to work with what you've got. I don't, I, you know, you know, again, that's a bad thing. Same with bipolar and PTSD. If you actually have those, but what, what makes me question whether or not you have those are two words: self-diagnosed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I don't, I don't care. You know, if you've gone through a traumatic thing, if you don't know you have it, you could assume you have it. You know, just by watching things on TV or looking up things on the internet, but you are not a doctor. No, and at 13, you're hardly a medical expert either. Yeah. It's just... I mean, I, I hate to say, you know, I hate to cast doubts and, you know, and aspersions on teenagers or kids even, whatever, but no, I don't trust your medical opinion if you're 13. Right. I was like, just like, you shouldn't trust my medical advice because I don't have the training in it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and the way this is written, I was like, did... Are they trying to say that they self-diagnose themselves with cancer? How do you do that? I mean, that's I, like, like it's it's honestly not clear. I guess they thought. I guess they saw. I was like, oh, I I'm starting to lose some hair. Maybe I think that's cancer. No, I that's started how it losing was, right? hair. When, no, I was losing hair when I was a teenager. I've still got. A, you know, I have. I've had a receding hairline since I was a teenager. Oh, I must have cancer. No. I, maybe you just have you know a receding hairline. I don't know. Again, doctor. Go to a doctor. And here's yeah. their pronouns. Here's their pronouns. Oro, Orokimaru self, snake self. What the fuck? <laughs> snake self? Oro yeah. Yeah. Uh, just... these, these are new ones, I have to say. I mean, I recognize a few of these, like, you know, genderless pronouns from other Tumblr posts, but... Uh, or or self. What? what? Yeah, I, <laughs> what the fuck? What, what the I'm not is... sure what that's supposed to be. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm like I'm gonna Google it, and I'm almost positive that we're gonna end up back at this blog post. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Although I wonder, Oru Orochimaru. 
That sounds Japanese. Uh, what do I? Yeah. I have a feeling this is going to be Japanese for snake. Just watch. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I found a definition for gloom gender. Uh oh. Okay, definition: non-binary, indifferent, mostly darkness, the new moon phase, apathy, and a mix of a bit of masculinity, bit of femininity, and a lack of gender can include sadness, grief, and depression. So you're an emo gender. Okay. Yes, you're emo, basically. So, so my gender is emo. Yes. And 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 yeah, it, it is just a, a the Japanese for snake. Holy for shit, survival. I got that right. <laughs> so you're a snake self, snake self. Essentially, because it's what I'm getting is that it's a character from um, Naruto. Oh no! That is right. the master of a snake. So this person is a non a non-binary <laughs> emo asexual sex addict snake. With self-diagnosed PTSD. Apparently. Lord Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I mean, he's pretty sad, and he's definitely snake-like, and... Well, yeah. Mostly a dude, but kind of not a dude. <laughs> and he didn't really seem that interested in sex, either. No, he didn't. I, I mean, maybe? <laughs> but I could totally see him doing it, and he's oh, definitely yeah. not neurotypical. You know, no. something wrong with his brain. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and he's God. bald, too, so I guess he does have cancer. Oh! Yep. <laughs> that explains where his nose went. <laughs> oh, he had cancer God. cancer with the nose. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, the next one. The next, the next one out here. <laughs> We're only on the first one, people. Yeah. There's five of these. Yes. Second one. The anti-cis feminist. I am a bisexual, gender-fluid feminist. I suffer from self-diagnosed PTSD, again, and depression. Keep this a trigger-free zone. Yeah, that, that, this is the internet. That's going to be hard to do. Band yeah, words. I'm band, oh, sorry. Yeah, band words that can trigger me, too. And they, 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 they bleep these out, but I'm actually going to say them because... Um, this Otherwise, is... you're not going to know what they are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, brand words, fag, nigger, cunt, pussy, and any mean words. That's right. I'm triggered by mean words. Triggered uh, Yeah. by mean words. It's like, no, you're not. No. You're not. <laughs> Offended? Sure. Uncomfortable yeah. at them? Yeah. I can I, I can believe that, but no. No, I mean... We, we, yeah, we did a whole episode on triggers, yet, yeah, so... No. Yeah, it's just, just no. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, this 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 one again, I could I could believe that this one is real because this one actually isn't that crazy. I mean, it's this person trying to be like, don't make me uncomfortable, you know, don't 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 be mean to me on the internet, but still also trying to draw a ton of attention to themselves by being, as you said, Holly, a special snowflake. Yeah, <laughs> and again with the self-diagnosed PTSD and depression. And it's like, no. I mean, Why does everybody want to have PTSD? I just don't get that. I, I've, I, I've, you know, television, while television does take a lot of liberty, television movies, etc., while they take a lot of liberties, that doesn't mean that, you know, uh, they do have some basis in reality. You know? I just feel like anybody who says that has never actually had a panic attack or anxiety attack. Like, they can't possibly know what it's like if they're like, yeah, I totally have PTSD. It's just no, no I've yeah. I have I haven't experienced it, but I've seen people have a panic attack. And you know, speaking to somebody who's only seen it, it is some scary shit. Mm -hmm. And that's on my end. I I can't I can hardly fathom what it's like on the other end. Yeah. And you would want that? No. No. No, I I've, I've, I've never had a panic attack. I mean, I've had or, or an anxiety attack. I've, I've had, you know, moments of extreme anxiety, and I've had moments where I was panicking, but I've never, like, felt, like, really out of control of myself. Right. In those... So, so I would never say that I have, like, PTSD or, you know, that I'm that I'm triggered by something, because I don't really have anything like that. I've never experienced <laughs> a significant trauma that would lead me to have a trigger. Yeah. Uh, and, but, and... Yeah, and, and for those of you who are like, well, no, they don't choose it. Um, okay, if they're self-diagnosed, that means they have not seen a doctor. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and they need to see one. If they are, yeah. if they if legitimately really, do have these issues, yeah. 
go see a goddamn doctor. If they're and really yes, having these problems, yeah. see a doctor, get them taken care of, and then you won't have this problem so much anymore. Yeah, and even with the shitty health system we still have in place, though, it's a little better thanks to Obamacare. You know, there are still doctors that are out there that would work on a sliding scale. They, if yeah. you can't pay so, if you can't pay a lot, then they won't charge a lot. And even even psychologists, I think some of them may. I, my memory is a little hazy. It's been a while since I've actually looked into this, but they may work on like you know like a uh, first a first visit for your whatever a free consultation or something like that. Or maybe I'm thinking something else. I don't know. So you know you have your options. You just gotta. Go take them. You know? Yeah, there is help mm. out there, and I think that's that, that that's what we need to emphasize more than anything about this because it's fun to take the piss out of these mm-hmm. people and like you know tear apart their ridiculousness and you know wanting to just draw so much attention to themselves for being different and all that. But the thing is, if uh, if all these people are genuine and real, they then yes, please. If you're if you're listening to this, please get help. Yes. Yeah. Please, I mean, like, don't, like, we're 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 trying to to tell you that you're not, that you're not as you might not be as bad as you think you are, but you might need to some help still. Yeah, and self-diagnosed depression, even even I don't, you know, because uh, over the years I've I've looked and I've examined other people have said, well, you know, you might have depression. I've not been to a doctor because, well, I'm just stupid like that. Apparently, <laughs> I admit it. I admit it. Stupid of me. But I'm not going around to say, yeah, I, I for sure have it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I think right. I might. I feel like I might. But that doesn't mean I do. You know, I, yeah. I could just yeah, exactly. fucked up in the head. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, I've, I've well, never gotten uh, an official consultation on whether or not I have depression. I don't think I do. I think that I might have it to a smaller degree than most people that suffer with it. But I've never gone and gotten you know, a, a, a professional opinion on it. And I've, yeah. you know, and I, I don't, because I don't feel I need, I need to, <laughs> so I don't call myself depressed. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and even when I have my own moments, like, like I will have like lower moments, but I don't call them depressed moments. They're just low moments. Cause that's what they are. Uh. Right. And that's a perfectly normal human emotion to have those low moments yeah. if up all the time. Where do you go from there? Yeah. You well, can't... if you're up all the time, you definitely have something wrong with you. <laughs> yeah, and if, and if you're up all the time in the wrong way, you well, you should see a doctor anyway to get that checked out. Yeah. yeah. Yay, murder! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, bad joke. That would be horrible. Oh. Uh, all right. So our next one. Uh, POC, person of color, glittery, sissy, gender queer, androgyny, femme, glam. Glamdrogynous. Glamdrogynous. <laughs> what? The... Yes, I I am androgynous, but in a totally glamorous way. So yeah. fabulously androgynous. <laughs> so you're David Bowie, except not white, apparently. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's see, demi queer, multisexual, florasexual. You want to fuck a flower? That, that was my first thought, too. It's uh, the only thing I can think of. Yeah. I, I almost don't want to Google it because I don't want to find out I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, fuck. Watch your Google and comes up with, like, all this flower porn. Uh, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. It, uh, accor- okay. Okay, and, and this is according to some Tumblr user, which, as we know, is the authority on all things. Of course. It's the feel of being aroused when around plants. Urban Dictionary says something similar. Um, <laughs> that, that you uh, are aroused um, by the presence of the plants in your home. Oh. Okay. Or, or around you. Yeah. That in and of itself is not a bad thing. It's weird, but, you know, it just... Yeah. Or a sexual. Okay. And, and actually, the Anon who said this says, like, it's a kink. It's just a kink with a special snowflake name. Yeah. Oh, yeah, disabled, ADD and OCD. ADD is not a disability. Nope, I but have ADD. OCD. It is not a disability. No, they are not disabilities. You can still function well, normally in life. Uh, if they well, truly well. have OCD, then they are probably disabled. Okay. Yeah, I mean, well, okay. the thing is, OCD is like is another one of those things. It's like ADD, where you can apply it to like, oh, I have to have the dial set at a multiple of five. I'm so OCD. Yeah. 
Most it's people like, no. who are like, I totally have OCD. No, you don't. No, you, OCD <laughs> is when you walk into a room, you flip the light switch five times for every single room you enter. Because if you, you don't do that, do you get Something a panic bad will attack. happen. Yeah. 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 What, what, uh, what's the name of the show? I think it's Addicted on... Uh, now I don't remember the network. But it's, you know, a show about people who are addicted to various things. And they've done episodes, you know, people who have OCD tendencies and what it's really like for them. Mm-hmm. And, you know, watching them go through treatment where uh, this girl would have to tap specific areas of the wall every time she walked down the hallway. Yeah. So they'd have her practice walking down the hall and not touching anything. And she's like crying and shaking and mm. it was, it was bad. And she had a kid too. So it was like, Oh no. Yeah. She was like, I need to get this under control. Cause I, I can't even properly take care of my child because yeah. I, I have to flip the light switch on and off and on and off and on and off and on and off. And I have to tap this area of the wall repeatedly because if I don't, something bad's going to happen. Right. Oh, right. it's like uh, it's, just, it's all making me think of Mark Summers. Yeah, I was just thinking that too. I mean, yeah. how did that guy do his job without just completely losing it? Oh, he had some good help. <laughs> I can bet. imagine. Oh, uh, pretty and, rich up there. Yeah. But uh, all right, to continue on this one, I check my thin privilege daily. You can ask me questions about my identity, but do not police it. I'm sorry. I check my thin privilege daily. <laughs> okay, so you're skinny. Great. Why did that matter to any of us? I don't <laughs> care. Um... Then again, I'm just going to put this out there right now. Guys, most of us, like, if, if you have genuine triggers, you know, we care about that, of course. Awful. But, Awful. like, your sexuality, do what you want. It, yeah. <laughs> I don't really care. You don't need to inform me if I am reading your Tumblr. Yeah. yeah it it uh, doesn't matter to me. Yeah, it's just... Oh, uh, Speaking of triggers, <clears throat> my triggers include <laughs> blood, red meat, rape slash non-consent, molestation, abuse of any sort, objectification of women, racism and ableism. And they... Yeah. Leave out the Oxford oh. comma, which drives me nuts. Yeah, I was, I was just going to say, I think that needed a comma there. Yeah. So, some of them I could understand. Rape, obviously. Yeah. 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 Rape, rape, molestation, abuse, uh, racism. I mean, I, I, could, I could believe all that. Um, yeah, but blood the, and red meat. Blood is like understandable, how... especially if it's like, if you were like in a really horrific accident or whatever. And there's or if you were, you know, physically abused. Yeah. Blood is a little bit more. Yeah, also. Yeah, yeah I, I could definitely, I could see that. Red, Red meat, meat, on though. the other hand. <laughs> Did you have some traumatic experience where I can't even come up with a traumatic experience? Did a cow just, Red meat. Did, did, did somebody blow up a cow and, and its meat just like almost kill you or something? Your, your favorite pet cow. Yeah. Yeah, and then its head like almost crushed you or something. No, that would give you a trigger of cows. Yeah. Uh, That's true, yeah. That's true. Oh, I, I don't understand how red meat could be a trigger. In, 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 mo- in most cases. I'm sure there's a way it could be, but most likely, I, I, I doubt it. And ableism. Ableism is a new one. On is generally a new one on me. I know what it is. It, it's, it's like uh, the, the ableism. It, it's kind of like racism, except I think it's towards disabled people. Ableism. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's like basically saying that because you have like a mental disability or because you have a physical disability, you are less of a human being than I am. Like I I am better than you. Yeah, that's ableism, and that's a very important distinction to be making because ableism is not saying, oh man, this that episode of that show I watched was crazy. Mm-hmm. No, that's yeah. not ableism. That Somebody. Is... On my Tumblr feed, said something the other day that was along those lines, and somebody submitted something to them that was basically like, you really shouldn't, I I wish I could remember the word that she used, but it was something that you would never, ever think twice about saying. Yeah. And this person's like, well, because people who have autism are, oh, um, it was something about somebody lacking empathy. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Uh-huh. And they were like, that's ableist because a lot of autistic people have problems with empathy. So you shouldn't say that. Okay. No. And I was like, no, 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 no. What? I, yeah, autistic people can and most certainly do have empathy. Yeah. I, I was like, first of all, where did you get your information? <laughs> and yeah. second of all, um, if somebody lacks empathy, that's not, it doesn't have anything to do with anybody else's disability. It just means that that person lacks empathy. That's all yeah. it is. How far I mean, up your ass did you cite your sources? I know, and, right? and this girl actually apologized for saying that. I was oh. like, are you kidding? I feel so bad for her. I, I love her dearly. But she has just gotten too caught up in this social justice bullshit. She had visited Japan, and a Japanese woman um, offered to dress her in a kimono and then took her picture. Oh. She posted it on Facebook, and some Japanese person was like, Oh, that's so the appropriation of the Japanese culture. You need to delete this picture. Number so one. she did. You were in Japan. A Japanese person offered it to you and put it on you. Yeah. And even then, even if it was cultural appropriation, who the fuck is this other person to tell this 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 friend of yours, Yo, you need to take that off your Facebook? Yeah, no, well, it's... other Japanese people were commenting and being like, no, I'm, I'm actually, it makes me very happy to see that you're interested in my culture. And, but no, it devolved into this huge argument about whether or not she should delete it and, you know, what it said about how she treats other people that she posted it on her Facebook in the first place. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. people are like, you know, not every time you wear a kimono is for some sort of religious ceremony or whatever. Yeah. You know, there are other reasons and other purposes, so it's not a problem that you wore one. Right. I mean, it's just... I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue on this one because there's still a little bit more left on this one before I yeah. just... Rah. Okay, so, yeah. let, let me know if I fail at tagging. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's fine. If you are a white cis het man, get the fuck out and never follow me. With the key and, case. Yeah, with this. With I'm the key case. Case. I, I am tempted to go find this person and follow them out of spite. Oh. I know. I, I saw this and I was like, man, I sort of wish I was a dude right now. <laughs> 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 oh. Not that I have any desire to be a dude, but <laughs> it, it's just that part of me that's like, oh, really? Well, fine. I'll follow you. <laughs> like, oh, let's find this. Okay. Follow. What are you going to do? Stop me? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Me. Oh, my. That's it. That's yeah. What, yeah, just just follow and then don't say anything. Yes. Yeah. Just, like, don't, don't comment. Wait. Don't be a dick. Don't, you know, just wait for her to, like, or... Or I, I don't even want to say her because I don't want to offend her by using the wrong pronouns if that's who. It... Oh yeah, did she put she, pronouns on here? I don't no. think so. No, she no. This person didn't. Her so he, I guess I don't. Yeah. So now I can't tell because yeah. they're we don't know androgyny yeah. femme, but <laughs> like, gender like queer, and so I, I have no idea. Like all like I know is that they're turned on by plants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I do know one thing. They must love poison ivy. Uh. <laughs> yeah. And for those who don't get the reference, it's a Batman reference, not the plant. <laughs> I don't even read Batman, and I understand it. <laughs> yes. Uh. Yes. But. Oh, uh, yeah. So. Moving on. Yes, the next one it starts really nice. Die, sisheads! Oh, oh yeah, I love you already. Oh, yeah. You're very welcome. Hmm. Vera, seventeen, trigender. Okay. Gray, aromantic. Gray, aromantic. Uh, I mean, I, I understand guess... what aromantic would be, but gray, aromantic. You don't feel any shades of gray. I was Eight? just thinking that. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> like I hate to say that, but I, I guess with all of it, you know, the movie stuff coming out lately. Yeah. That, that was I automatically was, my first thought. I was just thinking, you don't have any romantic feelings for the gray aliens, like the ones that we supposedly have in Area 51? Because I think that would apply to most of us. Just saying. Polysexual. Yeah. 
plant kin. You, th you, you, your, your inner soul is a plant. Basically. Okay. okay. A gray aromantic is somebody who sometimes has romantic attraction, but not very often. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so that that's fine. Uh, preferred pronouns: z, zis, zo, zay. Yeah. I... I'm. I, I'm. I'm sorry. Like, I. I understand. The the basic need for maybe a, a set of gender neutral pronouns. I think you can do a little better than this. Yeah. Although there is still the singular they in in those particular things as well. Yes. Yeah. So and and I use a singular they. I have at least one friend who is who's not, you know, in the gender binary, and I just refer to them as they and them and all of that, and they seem mm -hmm. to be okay with it. If if they're not, they need to let me know. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, and, and as we'll see in the, in the in the next one after we're finished with this one, they need they need to decide on a set of gender neutral pronouns because yes, please. it's just getting ridiculous. Yes. Gender dysphoria. Okay. Self-diagnosed PTSD again? Ugh. Okay. Stop diagnosing yourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Depression, severe anxiety, exhibitionism, oh my, manic episodes, past life regression. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't even pretend to take this seriously now. Oh, what? Pa what? So it means occasionally... They slip into, uh, you know, other lives they lived in the past. I guess, but it's just, <laughs> I, I, I am very curious about this now. I want to thank Midsummer Murders for <laughs> interesting <laughs> this idea. Oh, oh, Lordy! A great uh, show, guys. Yes, <laughs> if yes. You like um, British TV and uh, crime shows. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, self-diagnosed bipolar disorder. Again with a self-diagnosis. Oh. You're 17. Well, if, you have, if you have depression and manic episodes, I can see this. But yeah. yes, please don't diagnose yourself. Go to a doctor. Yes, again, yeah. sliding scale. Some of them do that. OCD, autism, schizophrenia. I may be white on the outside, but I'm Asian on the inside. No. Me too, Vera. Me too. <laughs> Now, see, the thing is, you, you actually have the genes to back it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, God. I just have a feeling for that everybody who says something like maybe white on the outside but Asian on the inside or black on the inside or whatever, I'm having hairspray flashbacks now. And, <laughs> and you know, they're, they're just – they don't know what they're talking about, you know, no. most it, of like the time. There are yeah. some – Holly would be an example of – she could say that because she has the genetics to back it up. Yeah. Just – Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Past life regression, really? Past really? life regression, yeah. yeah. Uh, see, they also say they have schizophrenia, so how do they differentiate those two things? That's a good question. I, mm. I hear voices, um, but sometimes they're – past me and sometimes they're not how to do that <laughs> oh, i just love how she throws in exhibitionism there too yeah just, yeah just sure why not you know like to do things like to show off i like to show off everything kicking a ball around yay kicking a ball around playing video games <laughs> on the big big screen on frank's 2000 inch tv here you go oh, man <laughs> this plant kin person should hook up with the floor sexual <laughs> yes that would be awesome match made in heaven guys Yes. Yeah, and they and they both hate cishets. Yes. So it's perfect. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh yes. Mm. Okay. All right, last one. And oh boy. Yeah. Ooh, this one's amazing. Yes. Four yeah. Chan is my home. Oh dear. Zig zir zir self. My pro equals my pronouns. Over, over, like I said, my pages. Decide on some gender neutral pronouns, guys. Yeah. yeah. Not everybody needs their own special pronouns. Have a, have a panel that's, that's on... That's why pronouns different. exist, in fact. So you don't have yeah. to be specific to every single person in the world. <laughs> right. Yeah, have a panel of the next dash gone and come up with some. <laughs> <laughs> have it in the ball pit. Yes. 
There you go. All right. Sasalufi Kurosaki. What? What the fuck is that word? I'm, I'm gonna guess. Is... on the inside. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that this is some sort of anime character. Probably. Yeah. Years old. Trans ethnic. Okay. 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 Kid, you're 13, so I'm calling you a kid, even though you're technically a teenager. Kid. Um, that episode of South Park where Mr. Garrison got the the initial sex change and Kyle turned into a tall black kid? That doesn't happen! No. It really doesn't. Just, no. No. Triggerkin? Yes, Triggerkin. <laughs> I'm sorry, just... <laughs> what the fuck is, is Triggerkin? Description anybody has ever given themselves. Yeah, and this is from the person's actual blog, by the way. We're not gonna tell you who it is, because... Is this is their actual thing. This is their actual description. Yeah, because cause, cause I, I think Gonzo looked it up, looked up Triggerkin, was trying to write to their blog. Yeah. <laughs> and so can you. <laughs> oh, unable to make human connections. Well, if, you're, if, if your inner soul is nothing but triggers, of course. So, yeah, I would be surprised if you can make animal connections. <sighs> Self-diagnosed schizophrenia, HPD, APD, SPD, MB, MPD, rather, and BPD. I'm, I'm looking these up right now. Yeah, she is um, looking those up. Yeah. We, so we the, were... the first one is histrionic personality disorder. Oh, God. Okay. Um, so it's a personality disorder characterized by an excessive, a pattern of excessive attention-seeking emotions. Oh, that um, makes sense. So an attention yeah. more basically. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. And we're and we're giving into this because they're probably going to hear this at some point. Um, I, APD. Uh, that's, I'm that's gonna guess they mean auditory processing disorder. Maybe. Which well. Or aggressive personality disorder maybe. Maybe it's hard to tell when they. I don't know. Pick something really general like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. SPD. SPD. Um, oh, um, yeah. It, it, so it must be auditory um, processing disorder because SPD is sensory, sensory yes. processing um, disorder. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, and, condition when sensory signals don't get organized into... Yeah. So. MPD. MPD. Um, 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 manic... Uh, oh. Manic... No. No, MPD. what is is it actually isn't called, yeah it's not called multiple personality disorder anymore it's dissociative identity disorder right yeah but yeah. yeah they're they're trying to say that they have multiple personalities well and i could explain it. And bpd <sighs> um, um um bpd is borderline personality oh disorder. yeah ah makes sense okay here we go dyscalculia horrible at math um it's like dyslexia but with numbers so <laughs> that works <laughs> i was close i was close uh hypochondriac yeah no kidding yeah <laughs> uh, yeah tajin q fusho and that's I, a name by the way yeah it's just thrown in there as a name yeah yeah well i i think that sassy luffy kirosaki uzumaki it is a combination of anime characters. Looks like um, it. Which is mm. funny because somebody else said something that had to do with Naruto earlier, and that I, that's where I think that that comes from. So Probably it's right. odd that all of these people who want to be special, special snowflakes all pick the same <laughs> yeah. anime. I, like, I've never seen Naruto, so I have no idea what it's about and if it has anything to do with well, any of yeah. this. But... Well, Sas Luffy, I mean, Luffy's from One Piece, so... Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a huge anime fan, but that's the only reference I, I'm able to pick up. Yeah, same here. Uh, so, oh. we still got more. There's yeah. still more. A bird just flew into the window downstairs. <laughs> oh. Wait, all bird. of a sudden, you just hear this. Thump. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, it sort of, like, flew over, like, towards the deck. <laughs> 
no. See, this this person's thing is is making birds fly into windows. Yeah. Oh. But so, yeah. So yeah, let's see. Uh, cancer child. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm sorry. So that uh, Daijin blah 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 uh-huh. thing. Yeah. It's it's a Japanese culture specific syndrome. What? Oh. Okay. The, it translates into the disorder of fear of interpersonal relationships. Oh. Uh, I could believe that. Yeah? Let's see. I yeah, could no, believe that. Yeah. All right. Cancer child? So you're a child that's nothing but cancer? I, I, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. know. I mean, like, I don't know if somebody I, I, has I, cancer or. Yeah, I mean, and if this, again, if this person has cancer, I'm sorry if we're, you know, doing. I, Sorry for doing this, but again, like maybe be a little more specific. Cancer survivor, cancer sufferer, yeah. cancer um, child. Based, based on their actual blog, I think that they just mean they're an unwanted child. Oh, so that's that's a that's a bit depressing. Uh, you know, that's a that's yeah. a bit downer. And but. honestly, like I like I said, based, even though the content of their blog is like kind of amazing, again, it's also fairly depressing if yeah. this is like real life i mean i feel really kind of bad for this person yeah oh so they also say they have agoraphobia fear of wide open spaces did ask did ask ah! fear of going to school yeah that i do I, I, which I, so if you have agoraphobia in this uh taijin kyo fusho syndrome these things all sort of make sense yeah. in line, but yeah. um, if this is all stuff that's self-diagnosed, please go to a doctor. Yes, yeah. please. Please do so. Please. Especially the cancer one. I mean, oh, well, I mean, I don't know. It, it, unless that, that does mean what we we thought it meant. Yeah. But even then, go to a doctor anyway. You know. Yeah. Just you know, at least go see a shrink. They, you know, they're, they're paid for you to talk to them. Yes. Uh, okay, let's see. Hominophobia. Fear of men. Carnophobia. Okay. Carnophobia. I'm guessing, fear, I'm guessing fear of meat or something. Or... Yeah. That, that would be my guess. Hmm. Carnophobia. Fear. Uh, fear of meat, yeah. Yep, fear yeah. of meat. There we go. Yep. Yeah, so carnophobia. Yeah. Hypingeophobia. Hypingeophobia. I, I have got nothing on this one. You should have uh, kept your phobia list on the. <laughs> yeah, should have. The... Damn. Yeah, yeah. Between that the last year and this one, I. Fear of responsibility. Fear of responsibility. Well, there are. Well, so you but you're thirteen. That. Yeah, you're thirteen. Of course, you fear responsibility. Hey, hey guys, guys, I have hypangeophobia. <laughs> I, I've been suffering with it all my life. It's it's been great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what thirteen-year-old doesn't? Even uh, yeah. the two teenagers that are staying with us for a week have probably have that. You know, just saying. Uh, leukophobia, which I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that it is either blood, phobia of blood, or phobia of cancer. Nope. It's leukophobia is the yeah. fear of the color white. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, I hope this person isn't white. Yeah, um, I, I honestly thought the same thing that you did too and then it occurred to me it's because leukocytes are white blood cells so then I was like oh wait a second <laughs> <laughs> oh. and the last one on this one nemophobia nemophobia that, that's like mnemonic device something that, that you use to help remember things so I'm, I'm going on a limb uh, fear of memory or remembering things I yep. don't know I can't, I, can't. I actually just looked it up. Fear, uh, an irrational fear of memories or memory loss. I could understand the fear of memory loss. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and if you have really bad memories, I could understand not wanting to remember them. Uh, th- th- those are a little understandable. But yeah. I still have to wonder, what the fuck is Trigger Ken? Oh, God. Well, well thankfully... <laughs> yes, let's, because this person provided an example. Yes. Or provide a description, rather. Mm-hmm. Because somebody reading their blog had, had asked, okay, I read your About Me section. I still don't understand what trigger kin is. How can you be a trigger? Sorry if this is rude. And their response is, it's okay, you apologized. 
I am the embodiment of triggers. I am a large trigger. Everything about me triggers everyone. My family has hated me since I was born, and everyone is repulsed by me. I trigger something within them, whether it be hate, disgust, or PTSD, it is triggered. Babies are especially sensitive because they are young and always cry when I am present. Okay, hold on a minute. Uh, one, you, you, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that you think you invoke this in strangers, the PTSD in strangers. Yeah, apparently. How? I don't have to talk or touch them. They just no, they... cry. They just sense my presence and they start crying. Yeah. Or well, I don't remember where I saw it the other day, but it, it was probably BuzzFeed or something. But it was like babies cry so much because everything that they experience is literally the worst thing that's ever happened to them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So, so no, I, I really don't think that this has to do with you. They're babies. They're new to life. Everything sucks for them because... Yeah. yeah. Cause... It's always the worst thing that ever happened. Oh my god, I'm hungry. This is the worst thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't have to talk to them. I just, they just cry. I am a trigger. I am triggerkin. This this next part is bolded. I am triggerkin. This is who I am. I fight the army of anonymous hate and win my battles. This is an ongoing war, and I will always win, even if I die. I am winning. Insert, Insert your, Charlie. Charlie Sheen gift here. Yeah. <laughs> and it actually says insert Charlie Sheen gif. Yes. Yeah. So so it's like this person made the joke for us. Yeah, it's like they go on this, you know, this this rant about how like they are, you know, going to stand up against the oppressive forces of, you know, of whatever, and then they end it with a little joke. Yeah, it's like, um yeah. This is an ongoing war. An ongoing war that I'm fighting with Charlie Sheen gifts. <laughs> Oh, god damn, just, just, okay, uh, th that's obvious this kid has problems, obviously, you know, so, yeah. and, and all, all, all five of these people, that they, they do have some issues, get help, please. Yeah. If you, yeah. if you feel like you might have PTSD, don't just rely on your own self-diagnosis, don't, don't, do not rely on WebMD, just don't, you go to a doctor. And you say, hey, I think I might have this. Let's sit down and talk about this, and then we'll figure some shit out. Right, because doctors, you know, doctors can prescribe things and they can prescribe treatment, but you don't even always necessarily have to take the treatment. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if it's good enough for you to just sort of know what your issues are and figure out how to deal with them on your own, I mean, you're within your rights to do that. Yeah. But don't just assume that you're something without getting a professional opinion about it first. Right. Because then you're not going to know if you even have that thing, and you're not going to know how to treat it. You might spend all of your time trying to treat something you don't have, and then you won't get yourself anywhere. Mm -hmm. It's just... Uh... So like I said, I am really hoping that that a good chunk of them are taking the piss. And, yeah. And... and and the ones that aren't, the ones that are serious, the ones that are not taking the piss, please, go get help. Yeah. Just, just seriously, go, you know, again, sliding scale doctors. Go talk to them. You know? Yeah. It, it, and it's like, because the thing is, you're not really going to find the help that you need on Tumblr if this is, like, what you're doing. Like, this this, this last person uh, on their, like, you know, about me or, like, you know, ask or says, like, why do you care? Obviously, you don't give a damn about me, but just want to make me more miserable by finding out my weaknesses. So here they are, asshole. Not like it's any of your damn business. Well, if it's not any of our damn business, why the fuck are you on Tumblr? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, why are you promote? Why are you shoving yourself into the world, saying like, "Here I am," but don't look at me, don't ask me anything about myself. I'm not for you to 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 poke fun at. It's like you put yourself on the internet. You opened yourself up for comment and critique. And, like, I'm trying not to be mean about this. I'm trying to be, like, like I, I, I believe that you believe all these things about you, and I believe you need to get help. I, yeah. I'm, it's, yeah. Just, it's just dude. Dude, person. Uh, generalized dude. Uh, just, G. Just, G needs to get help. Yes. Go and get it. It, 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 get it for yourself. Yes, please. 
<laughs> oh. Oh, God. So, so yeah, we've got about ten minutes left. Um, and we've, we've kind of gotten to the end of that. I do, I do have a little backup one, though, that we, we can probably talk about really, really quick. And uh, it's about Mississippi. Oh, yeah? Found this on vice.com. And the headline reads, Mississippi police want to arrest the Satanists who turned dead people gay. Because um, that's how things work in Mississippi. Apparently. You know, it's it's like, oh, what what a religion was doing that? What was it? The uh, Mormons or something? Taking dead people and, like, baptizing them or whatever? Oh, yeah, yeah, The Mormons uh, baptizing, like... Uh, apparently they, they 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 kept baptizing members of the Holocaust, and they tried to do it with Anne Frank. Yeah, and people got pissed about that. Uh, well, actually, where the controversy for that really came was when they tried to baptize Eli Weasel. Oh dear. And he was still oh, alive. Wow. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like, oh. Excuse me. One. Yeah. Still At a least I think it was. I think it was Eli Two. Weasel. It was, it was one of. <laughs> Not dead. <laughs> Not dead. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was one of the Holocaust survivors. Yeah, one of the prolific uh, writers. Right. From the, from that. From that. But <laughs> he was still alive when they tried to do it. He was just like, uh, no. Yeah, and and of course, you know, so, to, to put some people's minds at ease, when they were doing that, they weren't like getting the bodies out of the graves or anything and doing it. They were having people stand in for them. And all of that, and of course, people got to a whole bitch fest. I look at it, it's like, okay, yeah, you guys are disrespecting the other religion there. You guys are assholes, but, you know, other than the disrespect, it's not really harming much. And of course, you know, the families know better. The families are right. like, yeah, that's not going to change anything. You guys yeah, are just I, dipping I'm yourselves in water. I'm sure that that's not how baptism works. No. Baptism no. is one of those things that you're supposed to enter willingly and of your own accord which is weird that you know people do it to babies but yeah <laughs> that aside i'm pretty sure that you actually have to be there to be baptized pretty you much you yeah. have somebody stand in for you mm -hmm. oh so so uh anyway that that leads into this just over a week ago well about couple of weeks now this was posted on the 24th of july just over a week ago the satanic temple unwavering disciples of the prince of darkness and aspiring adopt away participants performed a pink mass over the grave of Catherine I idolette johnston the mother of westboro baptist church founder fred phelps jr westboro has yet to officially comment on the eternal gang of its leader's dead mom but the owner of the cemetery where the ceremony was performed has filed charges with the local police department you had a gay ceremony over my mama's grave. It's like, well, okay, okay, you know, you can, you, you know, property thing aside, you know, that that's kind of, eh, you know. But it's not harming anybody, and they're pretty much doing it just to troll you guys. That's really pretty much all they're doing. It's like, yeah, you know, if your beliefs are so strong that you can still believe that, you know, your your mother went to heaven or whatever. You know, if your beliefs are that strong, then whatever they do over the grave of your mother or your grandmother or whoever, it's not going to affect anything. They actually took pictures of it, and there's a picture of two dudes kissing over the tombstone with some guy wearing horns standing behind them. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> pressing their faces together to kiss. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's like, that's all it is. And that's all it really is. That's their pink mass right there. It's just, okay, you know, two dudes kissing over your gravestone. And some dude is claiming now the person in the grave is gay. Uh, you know, again, if, you're, if your faith in your religion is that strong, especially when it comes to believing that somebody else was of that religion, when they die, then whatever they do to the grave, on the grave, as long as it's not like destroying it or whatever, it's not going to matter. And it would be between and, – and to take it into – like from their side, they, how they should look at it, I think, should be, you know, yeah, that's between them and whoever they worship. You know, that's between them and God or them and Satan or them and whoever, you know? Yeah. And that's all that is, you know? I don't know. Stuff like this is just I, – I really don't know how to feel about it. I mean, like I was pretty pissed when the Mormons were doing their thing with the Jews because that – that to me is just, it, it, 
I, I get the whole, you know, like if your belief in your your faith is is strong, then it really shouldn't matter. But I don't know. I mean, I think it kind of does matter because it's it's disrespectful. It's like them it saying like like you know, well, obviously you guys were wrong. I mean, you're wrong. So we're gonna make things better for you. We're gonna convert you to our religion after the fact, and you're not gonna get to go onto the the really nice planet that us true Mormons get to go to. But you'll get to go to the one of the lesser planets. Yeah. But you'll you'll be yeah. saved. You'll be saved. You, you'll you'll be part of the right religion. You'll be in the in the in the good. I can't help but laugh at this because um, yeah, when they talked to the um, the guy at the Satanic Temple, he said, "We believe that Fred Phelps is obligated to believe that his mother is now gay in the afterlife. Further, if beliefs are in, <laughs> I'm sorry." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just and he he goes on to say that nobody has the right to um, challenge us that um, Fred Phelps believes that his mother is now gay. <laughs> yeah. we, we haven't gained his father yet or his great aunt, um, but we will. Each time they picket funerals or applaud horrific terrorist actions, as they are known to do. Oh. So, so yeah, oh. I mean they're they're pretty much just trolling. Yep. Yeah. And I mean, like it's 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 Fred like West Baptist Church. Fred is getting pretty long in the tooth, and I hope to be presiding over his pink mass before not <laughs> before long. <laughs> yeah, although I think, well, I think by the time they were saying that, I think uh, between then and now, <laughs> didn't Fred Phelps himself like die? <clears throat> or or wait, I think oh, it was sorry. senior that died, and, and then that was junior, right? Or. The, the temple is encouraging other gay couples to make the trek to Magnolia Cemetery in Mississippi and suck each other's faces over the grave. They say <laughs> that every time a same-sex couple makes out over the grave of a pink mass recipient, the spirit of the deceased is pleasured in the afterlife. Oh, God! <laughs> Presumably <laughs> with spooky ghost orgasms. Oh, spooky <laughs> ghost orgasms. <laughs> what in that case? That doesn't sound too bad. It's like, hey... You know, you're just walking along in the afterlife, and then all of a sudden... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that doesn't sound so They've bad. They've set up an Indiegogo page where you can donate money and help the temple achieve their dream of contributing to the betterment of society by keeping our highways clean and litter-free. There you go. <laughs> so, so they really do want to adopt a highway. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, which well, is pretty cool, I think. Yeah, that's admirable of them. Yeah. So they're trying to do something nice, but they are seriously trolling Fred Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and trolling, uh, you know, trolling. Uh, and and actually, I actually, uh, I did mention it was July twenty fourth, but it's twenty thirteen, so it's over a month and over a year old. Uh, that what when I mentioned oh. the date. So, so yeah, since then Fred Phelps has died. So yeah. So yeah, I was like, yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> but but it's still a fun little thing about trolling and and, and you know trolling the yeah. church and 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 people... it's also it's kind of, and it's also a good way to kind of point out. Sorry, Gomer. Just it's it's a good way to point out just how ridiculous the what the Mormons were doing it really was. I mean, because I mean, it's just like it's what, what these guys are doing. It's obviously not going to do anything. The person's dead. Yeah. And even if they weren't, you know, you can't just change their sexuality. So, uh, yeah. like, it's it's stupid. The whole thing is stupid, but, yeah, what the Mormons are doing is fucking stupid. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, <laughs> and, and, and see, uh, it's... it's uh, but they're serious <laughs> about it. The Mormons are dead serious about what they're doing. These guys clearly are just taking the piss. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. And that's one of the fun things about the Church of Satanism. Yeah, uh, you know, like like with the Hobby Lobby, the Hobby Lobby ruling, they're using that to their advantage and helping women get you know the abortions that they need or or other birth control needs that they might have, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So they're turning that and and using it for good. So yep. yeah, you would think it would be reversed, you know, growing up in this country thinking that you know Satan's the bad guy and God's the good guy. You would think the roles would be reversed, but they're not. So it's like the guy who's the people who are supposed to be the bad guys are doing good. And the people who are supposed to be the good guys are doing horrible. <laughs> Just stuff that that the, the the supposed good guys are doing it wrong. Uh, yeah. But you know, 
God and Satan may not exist anyway, so who the fuck cares? Let's just give women their health care and, and give them their birth control and everything and let them have it for free because you know what? They need it just as much as they need anything else. Especially just some women. As much as anyone who, needs anyone, anything. Yeah. Or any, yes. 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 <laughs> Especially the women who may have something wrong with them that every time their period comes, their uterus tries to crawl out of them. They need birth control to calm that shit down. So... With that, uh, that is that is our time for this week. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, if we wanted to find uh, Gonzo on the social medias, where could we find him? You can find me on YouTube, Twitter, and Tumblr at Gonzo Link. Uh, I also am part of the Gotham High audio drama. I play Bruce Wayne. I'm also the narrator for uh, Team Brotherhood's Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood of Bridge series, and I also have my own podcast. It's a podcast about movies that I host with Zenith Wool Rule. It's called Focus on the Frames, and you can find that at focusontheframes.podcast.tumblr.com and on his YouTube channel at Zenith Wool Game. Sweet. Or, Zen- or Zenith Wool Review. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those two. I, I, I'm so yeah. to it myself. Uh, so where can we find Holly? You can find me all over the place as Gookie Gox, G-O-O-K-Y-G-O-X. You can find my Facebook fan page, Holly Christine Brown. And you can also find me over at Nerdvice. Sweet! And if you wanted to find me on the social media, you can find me on the Twitters and the Tumblrs at gomer 21 X. You can find my other stuff on rtgomer.com and nerdvice.com. And speaking of rtgomer.com, my, my website, we just finished up with the auditions. We've got the, got the letter sent out. We've got ten new people coming on, and they are amazing. And, and, and I'm proud to have them all on. Um, if you like the shows that I do here, if you like this show, my other podcasts, uh, the videos that I do, etc., 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 and you want to help by throwing a little bit of money at me to help with better equipment, better sound systems, or, or what have you, better editing equipment because this editing software that I've been using for this stuff is about four years old. I could use an upgrade, <laughs> to be completely <laughs> honest. But, you know, if you want to help towards that, then uh, just head over to patreon.com slash gomer21xx. And as an added bonus, if you are watching this on, like, the video version, like on YouTube or on the site or whatever, and you like the artwork you see on the screen, well, that artwork is done by the absolutely lovely Becky Hopkins. Not only is she a very talented title card artist and an award-winning animator, she's also my girlfriend. And she also has a Patreon account, patreon.com slash beckyhop. Go check her out, and if you give her enough money, then she will use her award-winning animation talents for you. That's right. So uh, go check her out, Becky Hop, over on patreon.com, which also has the links to her DeviantArt and, and her own personal website as well. And with that... Uh, that's going to be it. Thank you guys once again for listening and listening to me ramble about my own stuff. I swear I ramble more about my stuff than you two do about yours, but that seems to be the norm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, with Holly Christine and Gonzo Link, signing off. Bye. See, see ya. Constructive Deconstruction is an RT Gomer Productions presentation. Check us out at rtgomer.com.